I wish it didn't auto mute me in the morning because I open my camera singing with the hopes that you guys will hear it. I don't know if you knew that or not. I wish no. you were going to. <laughs> Next time I'm just going to try to make sure that I unmute before I do anything. The songs are usually like, look at all these sunshining faces and their beautiful places. So, And the ASU fan. <laughs> why do you have to do that <laughs> why do you have to like asu i don't, oh, I don't are... like it i just happen to graduate from there we, we happen we happen to have things that we can't control in our life <laughs> our born in rivalry just happens to be right there uh, well i'll take it uh, it's gonna be funny one day when you realize i don't really care <laughs> this was my relationship with my ex-husband so <laughs> <laughs> It was fun bantery. Yes. So, that's all that matters. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Roseanne. Good morning, Tina. Good morning, Paula's phone. Good morning, Paige Melstead, one word. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Trisha Hooper, one word. Good morning, Mara Burgard. Good morning, Jacob Durante. Good morning, Francisco Kubias. Good morning. Good morning. It is Friday. It is Friday. It is Friday. Which means that you guys have made it through yet another amazing week here as a real estate professional in the land of milk and honey, as Dick calls it. Tell me about your weeks. Tell me about the goodness. Trisha, we haven't seen you on all week. What's been going on in the world of title? How are you guys doing? Gosh. You know what? Busy, 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 busy. I do have to tell you, um, darn it, COVID's still out there. One of our offices just opened up. I was supposed to park myself outside of it today, but they're back and running and um, they have now an A and a B team. So half of the people are working in the office, the other working at home. So if something happens with COVID, they switch, we clean the office and switch so we don't have to shut offices down. But uh, it's been good, it's been solid. Um, you know, I heard somebody saying interest rates were going up a little bit. That might give us just a little bit of breathing room on refis. Are you hearing that too, Dan, on, on I actually interest rates? Just, just got off a phone call with Mr. Steve Lemons here for the last 45 minutes doing a market recap. And uh, we're back to like three and a quarter, where two months ago it was 2.65. So sizable change in the market, which will help slow refis down, which will regulate some of the madness on that end. Yes. But it also definitely affects us on resale. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I don't, I don't hear it's going to go up a heck of a lot more than that. The last time I heard was just a little bit over three. So yours is higher than what I had heard. But uh, yeah, but busy, going strong. Your escrow officers, again, I always say this to you, but if, if you call somebody and they're on the line or they're in a meeting or whatever, make me your next phone call or make Jessica Alvarez your next phone call because we know where the side door is. We can get you an answer fast. There we go. Jessica Alvarez, Trisha Hooper, your go-to resources for title needs. Um, I want to just give a special way to go to Robin Fryman last night that 1130 at night was writing an offer. Is that right? Well, that's true, but it's waiting for them. Like my part was done around nine. Gotta love buyers. Gotta love buyers. 11.30 at night. That is Midnight Motors right there, people. Good job. Keep it up. Fingers crossed on for that one. That's like your third offer this week, isn't it? Second. <laughs> well, guys, it is fantastic. It is free for all Friday. So I want to hear again from you what we can help you better your lives with, the scripting aspect of what we talk about. Yesterday, we really focused in on, you know, asking better questions and, and really getting some motivation back to the emotions of what we do. Motion is key, right? We've all heard the term motion of the ocean or something like that. It's the emotion in the motion that matters. Anybody can just trudge through the day. You've all had the day where you woke up and you just phoned it in, right? You got out of bed, you just kind of blase your, your way through the day. All right, head shakes, don't lie to me. I can see Paige's hair right now. You know, I love you. But that's the thing is in real estate, we have the same opportunity with our, our buyers and sellers, our clients, our friends, our confidants, these people that have entrusted in us to become the professionals that they need in this journey. 
you owe them a debt of gratitude. You owe them that 200, 300, 400, 500 million dollar experience. Because it's not every day that they go out there and they say, yes, Roseanne, I want you to help me buy or sell a house. And the millions of dollars that come from the commissions you will earn in your lifetime all start with the initial investment in one yourself and two, the people around you. What kind of emotion are you going to put out in the world today? I ask you that. Great, great. Trisha wrote down great emotion. Well, That's last night, Dan, I did go see some of my neighbors because we have fruit trees and we have like extra fruit. And so I made little bags up for like as many people as I could that day, like eight bags. And I made my favorite lemon bar recipe and I gave them that along with my business card. And they were all like, because we've been here since July in this new neighborhood, but I've hardly met anybody because I figured with COVID, they didn't really want to meet me. So you've been pushing us to do it. So I did it. Of course, everybody was super nice because I'm like giving them free stuff. And so, uh, you know, it was good. <laughs> that is an awesome idea. I it's love like, that. Oh, you're so sweet. And even one lady who's like, well, we can't do grapefruit and we have lemons. I'm like, but I have my favorite recipe. And she's like, oh, cool. <laughs> so, That's awesome idea. I wish I had citrus trees. <laughs> well, if you know someone with extra citrus, maybe you can use that. I do. <laughs> I, I've been mouth? sending out. Oh, go ahead. Mine. You have oh, <laughs> Oh, you guys all have plenty? I'll just come take yours. I'll clean the trees off, okay? I've got I've got two 15-foot canopy orange trees that are like 500 pounds of fruit. Oh, my gosh. Dude, yeah. damn, it's free fruit for you to give out to humans. I am. I'm giving it out. You guys want to go oh. get out free fruit? Come give free fruit away. Like, so I'm trying to get my grapefruit fruit back, but that's... Like, uh, next door, they're like, oh, we have extra fruit. I'm going to set it out in front of my house. And I'm like, well, I'm going to go meet my neighbors. <laughs> so... I've been sending out note cards. I actually have been sending out 50 a week to my entire neighborhood um, with my thing. That's what's, so hopefully I've already gotten some feedback, but one of them was a realtor. Her nearly $1 million uh, house is going to be going on the market soon. I'm like, dang it. But anyway. Everyone knows a realtor. I would ask her, do you need help selling it? I got you. Yeah, go I meet did. Your neighbors, go meet your neighbors for the love of all real estate. Go meet your neighbors. Community is the base of your business. Where's your community at, right? Build community around you. If you live in Phoenix, you have a neighborhood. If you don't have a neighborhood, you have people that live in proximity to your house or businesses that you, you frequent. Meet the owners. Like this is what we talk about today. If you guys didn't have anything else, I wanted to talk about community building. And that is neighbors, local businesses, community hotspots, right? Are you going to get a better interaction with the guy that works at the Fry's Deli or Bob's Market? Bob's Meat Market, right? You yeah. might even find a better quality service. But go in there and ask questions. How long you been in the area? How long you been in the neighborhood? How long you been here? How do you love it? What do you like? What would you change? One of those top producers shared with us, Dan, he used to host like a picnic in a certain neighborhood right where he was farming. And I know a lot of us maybe can't do that, but there's little things like we've been talking about doing good. My husband loves to do breakfast, like making waffles for the neighborhood. Like people could come by and we could meet them that way. Or he would literally like to do like a movie night, get a big screen and invite people out where you could sit out in the street because we're in kind of a little loop. Anyway, just trying to think of creative things. And then some of these neighborhoods, of course, do have a little park where maybe you could sponsor like a little something, but just, yeah, like you say, getting involved with your neighborhood. So what about locally owned businesses? May not be something you frequent, but you want to sell out, send out a mailer to your neighborhoods. Call them up, say, hey, hello, you know. Mailbox HVAC company. My name is Dan Caldwell. I'm an agent with Keller Williams Southern Arizona. I am currently working on my database here in my neighborhood, and I like to send them out letters every month. Would you like to sponsor one of those mailings? And you can put a coupon in there to help maybe bring some extra business to yourself. Right? What does it cost you to send postcards to your neighborhood? 
I think 40 cents each. Yeah, 40, 50 cents each, maybe 80 yeah. cents if you're crazy and get the big six by nines. Right. And that's with them sending it out and everything. Postage paid, done. They do all the work. SA print, right? Door knocking. I've had businesses just give me their coupons and say, hey, yeah, if you're door knocking, I'd be happy for you to give out my coupons. That's the thing is go meet the owners, the managers, the people that are in charge and get coupons. Get a get a coupon code. Use code Mara for 5% off your next HVAC service. Four times a year, you have what they call micro seasons that make it very easy for you to send out some kind of correspondence like that. Right? What are those four seasons? Summer. <laughs> I was going to say summer, probably right in between too, like when people are planning for the summer or when they're planning for the next season i had a joke it was it was here yeah here in arizona it was summer almost summer winter almost winter okay <laughs> it should be almost summer summer almost winter winter those are the four micro seasons that you're typically every quarter right there's four in a year every quarter and it's one of the touch programs you can do but if you can leverage somebody else this is the scripting thing it's Call them up and say, hey, my name is Dan Caldwell. I'm an agent with Keller Williams. I currently am farming a neighborhood that I live in. I'd like to offer you the opportunity to get your name out there. Maybe the first one, do it for free. Do you have any coupons that I can include that? I'd love to showcase locally owned businesses. Do you have a discount code we may be able to put on there so we can maybe drive in some traffic? And I'd love to help out a community agent like yourself, as well as getting my name out to my community. You're coming from grace. You're giving of your time to that, that to that business, and together you guys are giving to the com to the community, right? Everybody gets Val Pack, right? I, I threw them all away yesterday. Um, the big blue envelope value pack, right? We open them up, we keep the coupons, we never use them. We get pissed off and we realize that we bought something we could have saved money on, and right? We all remember that. Now let's think you get a you got a postcard and a postcard in the mail, right? One of these little doohickers. I'm not saying it's you know this size, but you get one of these in the mail, and on the back of it says, you know, thank you for using, you know, thanks you for loving me and creating a huge business. My name is Sarah Kuhn. This is a discount coupon for, you know, one free carpet cleaning with purchase of second. Like I don't know. Then it becomes different. It sticks better. And you can even you can even start circles prospecting after the fact. Call the call your database in that area and say, hey, did you guys get the letter I sent out? Now is a great time for you to get your, your HVAC system services. Last week we sent out a, a coupon for people to use hamster heating and cooling where you guys can save $115 on the service. Do you have that coupon? Oh my God, no, we lost it. Hey, it's okay. Just remind them to use code Sarah. I don't know right? I want to take a little bit from the YouTube work. Anyone, YouTube videos are always like plugging your subscriptions and stuff like that. Please subscribe, like, follow, comment, and, you know, use code Big Sam for 5% off, right? Make it corporeal, make it physical. And it all starts with the conversations you're having with your community, create the community around you. Go out the different ways of your neighborhood and take note of the businesses that are right there. You got a mom and pop mortuary. Somebody does, right? You've got a dental office that's privately owned. You've got a private school and the an Ace Hardware. Did you know all Ace Hardwares in, in Arizona are privately owned? They're franchised. When it says Al's Ace Hardware or Bethany's Ace Hardware, go ask for Al or Bethany. I bet she's there. Right? Who's going to do that this weekend? Who's going to make your community? Go make go make your community a little bit bigger. And Sarah's all this one right here, right? Check this out. Check this out, Dan. This is Friday a new food for the East Side. Food truck Fridays. Is that your menu? It's a new one, though, because it's for the East Side. Usually it was on the South Side. I have no idea where it was at. That's just awesome, man. You guys are expanding. He's created an expanded expansion team for his food trucks. More activity begates more activity. 
you know, Grant Cardone, one of the great sales trainers that came from, he's a lot of real estate investing, stuff like that. Just says, you got to wow them with how much energy you're willing to put into something. More energy gets more energy, more activity gets more activity. So go out in your neighborhoods, go knock on the doors of the houses, introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Dan Caldwell. You don't know who I am. I am a realtor in your neighborhood. I'm not here to sell you anything. It's just important for me to know my neighborhood. I've got a bag of lemons and a recipe for some lemon bars I'd love to give to you. Right? You guys have a really cool orange thing you can use. I don't know. I've got oranges. If you want to come grab some oranges and, and do that. Hey, my name is Dan Caldwell. I don't live in your neighborhood, but I stole some oranges from my friend who does. I'd like to give you this recipe for orange jubilee. I don't know. You guys laugh, but somebody's going to do it and they're going to make a lot of money from it. All it takes is one person to say, yes, you know what? Actually, we're thinking of selling our house. And how are you going to feel when you hand them a bag of lemons? Life gives you lemons and turns around and hands you a listing contract. Now we're talking. We have an amazing citrus cake recipe guy. If anybody takes Dan up on his oranges, I should give you that because it's amazing. I was I have um, orange scones that I would use that with. They're delicious. And Jacob's gonna take his Great Dane door knocking. I don't know about that, dude. Don't you have to have a permit to walk a horse down the street? He's like a celebrity every time I take him walking. I was gonna say there's a there's a little lady. This lady's like five foot four and has a Great Dane that she takes. I mean, this thing she could ride it definitely. And I can't help but look at that thing every single time I see her walking down the street. So yes, take that with you. <laughs> True story to meet more of your community. I, I was driving home one day at a random time. Like it, I usually have a very set schedule. So I see the same things. Well, I was coming home late one day and I pull into my neighborhood and like the one street over, there's a couple walking two giant dogs. One of them's a great name. And I, I felt compelled because I haven't seen them walking before. And I, again, getting out of my comfort zone, meeting my community, I rolled my window down and said, I don't mean to alarm you, but you seem to have a horse following you. And the guy turned around, he turned around like, oh, he's like, and he started laughing. He's like, oh yeah, it's my dog. And we chatted. Well, they just moved into the neighborhood. They've been here for three weeks. So I introduced myself. They live a couple streets down. It was just in that interaction, but I created another friend. Is that going to be the the end all be all to my relationships? No. Are they going to give me a lead the first time I talk to them? No. But the next time they see my truck, are they going to smile and laugh knowing that I'm the guy driving it and I'm the one that told me the horse? Yeah, they're going to wave. They're going to know who I am. It's not just some, oh, well, who's this weird guy with a red truck? No, it's Big Dan. He lives a couple streets over, right? Everybody knows me in my neighborhood because of my Goldens. And one time I had dinner with the neighbors and this lady said, you know what we call you? And I was like, what? <laughs> she said, we call you the blondes. Like, <laughs> okay. All right. If that's how you remember me, that's cool. <laughs> the scripting aspect we do every day, guys, we talk about how to have conversations, what to say, the tonality, the cadence, the body language, all of these things are great. They really are. Can you use any of them if you don't have anyone to talk to? Can you follow up with a stranger you've never met? No. Can you call a cell phone number you don't have? No. Can you send an email to some random email that you don't know? Probably. Is it going to be effective? No. So what are you going to do today to build your community? I was also doing my random calls yesterday, Dan, and I followed up with a business that I door knock. And right now I usually joke with them. I usually say, hey, before COVID, I would usually pop in and say hello. And they almost always laugh, you know, laugh because they're like, yeah, I get it. And now I'm just calling to check and see how you guys are doing. How's business? You're hanging in there. And this one lady was not there anymore, but I bothered to talk with, you know, whoever answered the phone in her place. And I followed up yesterday with that person and I only talked to once. And she's like, oh yeah, I put you in my phone because my husband and I are thinking about starting, you know, starting that conversation about buying a house. I'm like, cool, you know, this is why we make the calls, obviously. But it was just such a random person that I've hardly spoken with. Um, but anyway, it works, just saying. It, it 
I love it, Mara. If there's one thing I've learned about you in the time that I've known you is your ability to create community is awesome. Aww, Keep it up. Thank you. Keep it up because you care about people. Zig Ziglar said, and if you guys don't know who he is, write the name down, Zig Ziglar, and go research him. If you help enough people get what they want, you'll get what you want. Not the other way around. Help others first. Real estate is a business that we can create massive changes in people's lives in an instant. You have the ability to influence the homeless. You have the ability to change families' dynamics forever. It is not a task that should be shouldered lightly. It's something that you should take utmost care and respect for because of the power that comes with it. And if you realize and you embody the community and the base of your business at such a core, you will get out of your own damn way and go find people to talk to so that you can create that community. Are you shy? Try harder. Do you not like talking to strangers? Take a friend. You don't like door knocking alone? Make it a group activity. Don't know what to say? Welcome to Scripps. My cat's chattering at the window. He welcomes the scripts too. But that's the one thing I'm realizing in, in overseeing transactions and talking to title and talking to lenders on multiple deals across the city. There's a ton of agents out there right now that just don't care. They're in it for what? Money only. Right? Hey, thanks for my paycheck. Good luck. I'll see you later. Is that going to get you long-term wealth and, and development? No, I'm not here to sell one house. I'm here to sell them all. I want to be your trusted resource advisor in everything you do, not just real estate. Speaking of that, can I add real quick, Dan, uh, the CE class from Teresa Barnaby this week talked about what we do after the sale, you know, stuff we do before, during, after. And her point was, why aren't we the source for like everything for our clients? So even stuff like our favorite restaurants and we share with them vendor lists because she said in the top things that that people want from the realtor is the the resources so she it was just a really good example of we could keep sharing those things after the fact you know how we're always looking for something to talk to people about she's like why don't you just share this stuff and when they want a really good restaurant they'll be like hey we tried out that one you got another one you know that sort of thing where where we're the source of like all the information <laughs> that they could possibly want maybe it's entertainment or whatever but i just thought that was a more fun way to follow up with people to be to be that source So what are your takeaways from today? We didn't script a whole lot around it other than, other than I want you to get scripted with finding people to talk to because that's lead generation, right? Let's recap. Where are five areas you can go meet people and find people? What? Businesses. Nearby businesses. Businesses, nearby businesses. What kind Your of neighbor. business market? Restaurants. Restaurants, cleaners, cleaners anything that right. dentists. air conditioning, yeah, dentists. dentists. Ooh, all these things, right? Think about that. Start thinking. Okay, how would I respond as a consumer to getting a discount at a dentist's office or getting a discount at the cleaners? Ooh, yeah, right. Okay, now I heard neighbors in there, right? Well, Dan, I, I don't live near people. I live out in the boonies. I have like five miles between me and the next house. Stormy, do they still have neighbors? Oh uh, yeah, they're five miles away. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. See, the nonchalant, yeah, you're right. They're five miles away. Go drive over there and say hi. Good luck, good for you. I wish I had five miles between me and my neighbors, right? All right, what else can you meet people? Anywhere. Dog park. <laughs> Dog park. There you go. Dog park in your communities, right? Especially if you have a horse like Jacob's taking with his girlfriend's great dame. What about your gym or your exercise class? 
right? Hey, what, I got one. Go what ahead, about sir. what about the last place you sold a home? <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Hey, just sold the house next door. Just wanted to let you know this is what it sold for. This is who bought it. If you'd like to meet your new neighbors, I can introduce you to them. Um, I mean, basic, simple. The home you just listed, the home you just showed, the home you just sold, your mom's house, your dad's house, right? You go visit your kids, their neighborhood. You got grandkids, take them out walking with you. Go down to the park and talk to everybody on the way. Another big idea they had was to sponsor um, a housewarming for your client once they moved in and you could invite all the neighbors and meet all their neighbors and most likely get leads from all their neighbors for having just sold their house and done a terrific job. So yeah. could be a little more money than some want to spend right now, but still think it's kind of a cool idea. Invest in your business so it can invest in you. This is not a job, people. I can't fire any one of you, nor would I, because you're awesome. I love you. But no, this is not a job. You don't clock in and clock out. You don't come in and punch the time clock, get your orders for the day, and then go home. Woof, thank God it's 5 o'clock. My job's done. I'm going to go home now. This is a business, people. You own that. This is your business. This is Roseanne's real estate. David Fortin's calling me again. He can hang up. I'll call him later. If your job is to meet people and you have not met persons, go meet persons. If your job is to set appointments and you haven't set appointments, then don't go home until what happens? Set an appointment. You set an appointment. Your job in your business is to generate opportunities. Lead generation is the core of your business. In doing so, it's the scripting around what you say, when you say, how you say, and who you say it to. So this weekend's challenge, go meet five business owners. Learn about the people that own and operate businesses in your community. Well, what's my community, Dan? I don't know. If you live at the corner of Ina and Thornydale, I would imagine it becomes between Ina and Thornydale and Cortero and McGee and, you know, figure it out. You define your community. If you live on the Northwest, the Southwest, the Southeast, Central, I don't care. Whatever you want your community to be, go learn it. There are a thousand houses in my neighborhood. 26 of them have sold in the last year. If I were to have sold every house in my neighborhood, would I have a very decent living right now? 26 houses in three months. Yeah, I, I would say that that would be a healthy living. It's just a couple of deals shy of what I'm doing now, but whatever, I'm kidding. So the community you create will feed you. If you're bouncing around all the town, you're not going to be able to generate a ton of action in your community and create that, the way I call it the wave event. When you drive by and people get excited to see you. Hey. You guys pull up to the market center, you see my big red ram, you're like, hey, Dan's here. My neighbors say the same thing. It's usually a little bit more muffled and grizzled, but my next door neighbor, Bob, honks at me every time he leaves because he can see my light on my office. He honks and waves right? Every day. That's community. I have clients that bought houses down the street that every time they see me, they honk and wave. And sometimes when I'm outside, they'll stop and talk to me. That makes my heart just feel good. Never about real estate. It's always about them. How's the kids? How's the house? What are you guys working on next? And by golly, if they didn't send me their dad a couple of weeks ago to buy a house, So I want you to get out there. And this, this story rings true. Like I talked to other agents that are doing the same thing. They get referrals that come from the wildest places. But it all starts with the scripting aspect of what we talk about in our calls all week. Four letters. 
F-O-R-D, repeat. Consistently, but if you don't have people to talk to, you're not gonna get very far. I hope this weekend you take my challenge and go do it. See what you make out of it. And I'm serious about the oranges. If you guys want to get some oranges, I got you. Yeah, Robin's like, I'll take some. I'll take some. So. All right. Anything else before we go, guys? It is Friday at 831. And only three of you have turned your cameras off and ran for the hills. It's okay. I appreciate this community. I appreciate Thank this you. Community. We have a great community. Iron sharpens iron, people. I understand. Always get awesome. great ideas. You Thank you for joining me, guys. Go ahead, Ryan. You reminded me to go back to my eye doctors with um, some more <laughs> handmade masks and to talk to them once again so thank you all i gotta remind you to do is wake up and do your job it's that easy so have a wonderful friday guys i hope you have a blessed weekend and remind everyone that your success could literally be the next person you talk to so don't give up <laughs>